research laboratory has been a pioneer in hundreds of developments. The Office of Naval Research announced the laser weapon system for laws. We invented GPS, enabled radar. Uh, your cell phone uses our transistors. The lighting, the solid state lighting, LED lighting today is because of ONR and the investments we've made over the past. Without the science and technology that ONR has sponsored over the last 70 years, you wouldn't have the weapon systems that we have today. You wouldn't have the safety with those systems that we have today. You wouldn't have the ships, the airplanes, the propulsion systems. None of that would be possible without the investment that we've made over the last 70 years. As the Chief of Naval Research and leading the Office of Naval Research, I consider myself the mad scientist of the Navy and the Marine Corps. From a skill set perspective, it's truly the collection of the best and brightest scientists ever here in the United States and around the world as we are a global enterprise. One of the advantages of working at ONR is we know who our customer is. It's the sailor and the Marine uh, on the ship or at sea today or, or the ones that are going to be coming in 10 to 20 years from now. And the legacy that we have is 70 years ago, we were focused on that and we're still focused on that today. Our scientists and technicians have been at the forefront of discovering the new phenomenology, we call it, that has given us those capabilities that have truly moved not only our sailors and Marines in the Department of the Navy, but arguably all of humankind. In our petri dishes and test tubes of today, we are actually building the future for tomorrow. I am exceedingly optimistic for the next 70 years of ONR because I think as long as we have a Department of the Navy, we have a Navy and a Marine Corps, uh, our leadership recognizes the need for science and the need for technology to stay ahead. And thus, I think ONR will have a valuable role over the next 70 years.